Hello everyone, today I am going to show you how you can get IntelliSense in your terminal. So you might wonder what is IntelliSense? So let's see what Google says. IntelliSense is a general term for various code editing features including code completion, parameter info, quick info and members list. So VS Code comes with built-in IntelliSense. So let me show you how it works. So this is a basic code in C++ which prints subscribe to Apurva codes. So if I type COU, you can see the list of available commands that I can execute. So you can shift and move between the commands with the upward and downward keys on your keyboard. And when you find the one which you want, you just click enter. So this significantly boosts your productivity and allows you to think creatively. So if you want this intelligence in your terminal, here I will show you how you can get this. If you want to get IntelliSense or basically autocomplete feature in your macOS default terminal, I will show you how you can do that. Just head over to Safari and go to fig.io. Fig.io or fig is basically a terminal plugin and an application. It uses VS Code style autocomplete to autocomplete the commands that you execute in a terminal. Here it is showing a short video illustration how it is work. So, it supports your favorite CLI tools like git. You can use the git add command, the git commit command, the git push command and basically everything. It helps you navigate between your files and folders. It does everything that you want. You can use it with Kubernetes, Docker, SSH, Heroku, scripts, Google Cloud, AWS, basically everything and anything you can imagine. Even though you are not satisfied with this, you can create your own shortcut keys by using this documentation. Git is also community supported. So you can uh, join the Discord community and ask your questions related about fig there. So I'll download the fig and show you how it is set up. Fig is now downloaded. Now I'll show you how to set it up. So head over to the downloads and open this DMG file and move this fig to the applications folder. Now that you have moved the fig to applications folder, head over to the applications folder and search for fig. Here it is. Double click, it will open. Click open. Click on setup and enable it. It will open the settings. You have to grant some permissions to fig. So head over to settings and the accessibilities. Click this lock button and input your password. Now select fig and then again click this lock. So fig is downloaded successfully. Now we will set it up. So I will click setup. You can see it shows the settings. You have to enable this. I have done the settings. I'll head over to continue and click continue again. You can select your uh, theme from here. I'll go with dark and continue. You have to create an account with fig.io. So I have entered my email address and I will click sign in without password. I have entered the confirmation code and I'll click on confirm email. Here you can see fig is now installed. Now we'll set up fig according to our preferences. Let me zoom in a bit. You can see fig is now installed. Hey, welcome to fig. This is a quick walkthrough and how fig works. Hit enter. Fig suggests commands, options and arguments as you type. So this is, uh, is showing how you can use it. They are like a demo. You have to do cd. You can see already this autocomplete suggestions are showing up. So I will type cd dot fig and go to this directory and click enter and enter again. This is same as the VS code hitting escape. You can read it. It is showing another demo of, of git. I can type git and it shows commands. It shows every command. Wow. Git commit.
you can see it also shows auto completion for git commands i will press enter last step quick clis you can see these are the some commands that uh, you can remember for now i will type continue and skip this part want to share fig want to contribute as i told you fig is an open source so you can uh, contribute to fig by uh, visiting this github repo so fig is set up successfully i have cleared the terminal and let me show you the functionalities that come with fig so you can change the directories wherever you want without remembering the folder in which you want to go and directly moving to the folder if i want to see and we go to documents and projects so you can see i can easily navigate in my machine it uh, fig also works with the git so you can git commit git push git add every command it also works with the google cloud so you can see google cloud uh, auth so google cloud it also works with google cloud you can also do npm run and run any script that you want it works with aws so it is the best terminal plugin for mac os it doesn't support uh, windows yet i'll notify you once it does and uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching